Race three is the Z Turf Trophy Handicap. Norton 140 over three miles. So very similarly named races. This one's over three miles. Norton 140. Kick off with three chases to start the week this week. And San Pedro Cartel is at the top of Vinnie Gerard. Music World for David Hooley. We're hoping not to get the hat trick of Fallers. Giran Citizen for David Robertson. Bridge Pool, Darren Thompson. Little Rock Kingdom, Vinnie Gerard. Run and Skip, John Morgan. Cloak of Magic, Leon Van Rensburg. March Tit for Graham Clutterbuck. Dressed to impress Craig Beckwith. Sizzling Tail, Port Barsons. And Seminal Word, Alex Cherry. So 11 this time. And away they go. Marsh Tit is the first one to show, but immediately pressed by Bridge Pool as they sort themselves out through the first furlong or two and settle into their preferred racing positions. This is the first of 18 fences. And it's a four at the first one there. It's Paul Parsons' song is in tail that's gone. But, uh, a disappointment for him there. We've seen a lot of fallers early on in the races today. And Bridge Pool and Run and Skip. Well, the ones who are setting the pace of this race, they've quickly shot six lengths clear of the rest of them, who are headed by G Round Citizen as they get over the second. The next one should be the water. Run and Skipper's just about won the battle to lead. We're on Bridge Pool second. And a big gap back to G Round Citizen in third as they get over the water jump. We're safely over that one. Bridge Pool just about poked his head back in front again, then there. So these two. They're both happy to run along together in front as they get over that ditch. They continue to lead by six or so lengths from Giran Citizen, who's ahead of the main group. Short run to the fifth. And they'll get over that one okay. We've got Marsh Tit there, then the Vinnie Gerard pair, Little Rock Kingdom and San Pedro Cartel. And Seminal Word. Alex Chiris Colours with the Second cap, they get to the sixth, which is another ditch. And Leon Van Rensburg, Cloak of Magic. His horses have not been doing all that well so far. They won't fall up. One who's made a lot of mistakes. And dressed to impress, and finally, Music World, who you may have noticed from the card, went off as favourite, despite having fallen in both of his races so far this season. So, uh, bookies know something we don't. And Bridge Pool. Uh, we say they usually do, but it's Bridge Paul who's now in the lead. Made a mistake there, they're allowed to run and skip to get right back up alongside and indeed go on. So it's run and skip. Right, Bridge Paul in second. Cap of probably as many as eight lengths now to Little Rock Kingdom in third. And Giran Citizen is now fourth. San Pedro Cartel on the inside, the second of the Vinnie Gerard pair. Marsh tits after that one. And then Cloak of Magic. towards the straight. They've still got a complete circuit to go after they jump these two fences in the straight. And they're all safely over that one. They're well strung out though. And Bridge Paul takes the fence. It'll be the last next time round with a lead of about a length and a half. To run and skip. Seven, on, seven lengths or so clear of the Vinnie really Gerald pair. Little Rock Kingdom and San Pedro Cartel. March tits close up to them. So to Giran Citizen then tucked in on the inside Music World. In a little bit closer as they take this cross fence going away from the stand. All over that one, okay. Cloak of Magic's dropped towards the back with Dress to Impress, and Seminal Word is just starting to struggle a little bit at the back. But Bridge Paul has now gone on by three to run and skip. All back in second. Little Rock Kingdom is third. Oh, and he's gone again. Music World's gone. Well, would you believe it? Three. Ifs next to his name now after three races, so I'm pretty sure David Hooley might be thinking of sending that one back over hurdles next week and get over the water. And Bridge Paul is in the lead, leading by two lengths to run and skip in second. Eight lengths get back to Little Rock Kingdom third as they take this ditch. They're all over it and they're well strung out. Bridge Paul and run and skip in the leading pair all the way. The race uphill now. This is the 14th. Four more to go. Mistake at the back by Dressed to Impress. Seminal Word is. Well, he was out of shot. He just poked his head into the shot there. And he's just a couple of lengths behind Dressed to Impress. But it's difficult to see either of them getting into it. And if that 
walks in front of them cloak of magic was trained by anybody other than Leon Ran Rinsberg, you'd think that one was out of it as well. Well, it's Bridge, Paul, and Run and Skip still disputing the lead. Racing downhill now. Heading towards the home straight. And the final two fences. The final three fences. They've got this downhill one first. They're going to take this tricky downhill third last. And Bridge Paul has come up on the outside of Run and Skip. The pack are now beginning to close as they get over that third last. With G around Citizen no more than three lengths off the lead. Now look at this Cloak of Magic. He was right out the back a minute ago. And now he's been driven up to challenge. He could have got some good prices on the exchanges on in running betting on that I would have thought, but not necessarily gonna win yet as they race towards the straight. And Bridge Paul is in the lead, run and skip has given way, but look at this Cloak of Magic, he's swept round the outside and he's now in the lead. So Cloak of Magic comes to the second last, jumps it well, gets away from it well as well, uh, and he's now suddenly two to three lengths clear. The one that's making a bit of ground is San Pedro Cartel, that was the final fence, and Cloak of Magic is well clear with a furlong to go. San Pedro Cartel is definitely closing the gap, and closing it reasonably quickly as well. The jockey just has to shake up the leader, and I think he's far enough ahead to hold on, and racing up towards the line. Strange race all in all that one, but Cloak of Magic takes it. San Pedro Cartel second, then Run and Skip. Little Rock Kingdom ran on as well, all the way back to Seminole Word. So, he definitely would have got a decent price on that horse, but won that with about four to jump because he was miles behind. Well, he took it quite easily in the end. Because you think that maybe the rest of them are not up to much, but Cloak of Magic takes it. Oh, Leon Van Rinsburg, San Pedro Cartel, Vinnie Gerard second, Run and Skip, John Morgan third, Bridge Paul, Darren Thompson fourth, and Little Rock Kingdom for Vinnie Gerard again was fifth.